Left fielder Rex Hudler, who takes away extra bases from Herm Winningham. And he saves a run with his diving catch as there was a runner on second base with two outs. One more look at the great catch turned in by Cardinal left fielder Rex Hudler. And he would strike out Hal Morris, who doesn't like this one, and he tosses his helmet and then gets tossed for his efforts by home plate umpire Mark Hirschback. Smith would pick up his National League leading 11th save as he retires Luis Quinones on a pop out to end it with a tying run on first base. And the Cardinals win at 1-0, a combined two-hitter for Hill and Smith. Hill the winner 3-2, Myers the loser 0-3, Smith gets his 11th save. This is really the supreme thrill to know that I'm working with uh, three generations, my son and my grandson, all at the same time doing a major league game. I don't know, uh, this has got to be, if the good Lord said this is your last moment alive, I'd be happy to go. We don't want that to happen. Three generations of Carey working the Cubs and Atlanta Braves game on Monday night. Top out of the second inning, pitcher Tom Glavin with a double to left center field. Rolls to the Ivy, Raphael Belliard will come into score from first base and it's 1-0 Atlanta. Sid Bream now in the top of the third inning will get a base hit to left field. Ron Gant will come into score from third base, RBI 18 for Sid Bream and it's 2-0 Atlanta. But Andre Dawson would make sure there would be no more runs in the third as he fields Jeff Blauser's base hit to right field. Dawson comes up firing, throwing out Dave Justice who tries to score from first base. Throws him out by a mile as Hector Villanueva makes the block on Justice, who doesn't even reach the plate as Andre Dawson guns out Justice at the plate in the third inning. The Cubs score in the bottom of the sixth inning. Mark Grace with a double to the right field corner. Jerome Walton came in to score for Chicago. RBI 16 for Grace, 2-1 to one Atlanta, top of the seventh. Terry Pendleton with a solo homer to right field into the seats. Home run number four for Pendleton, RBI number 11, 3-1 to one Atlanta. As the fans at Wrigley throw the Pendleton home run back. Top of the eighth inning now, Dave Justice will knock in a couple of runs with a bases loaded single to right field. RBI 23 and 24 for Justice and it's 5-1 to one Atlanta after seven and a half innings. Couple of Philadelphia 76ers in attendance and in the bottom of the ninth inning with a man on at two outs, Andre Dawson. Will make this game a little interesting as he unloads for a two-run homer off of Glavin onto Waveland Avenue. Home run number seven for Dawson. RBI 21 and 22 as he picks up Ryan Sandberg at 5-3. But the score would change no more as Glavin gets Dunson to fly out to end the ball game. As the Atlanta Braves win over the Chicago Cubs by a score of 5-3. Glavin the winner, he's a 5-2. Bosky the loser, he drops to 2-3. Roger Clemens looked to up his record to 7-0 to start the season as the Red Sox played host to the White Sox top of the first inning. Robin Ventura with a double to right field off of Clemens. Tim Raines comes in to score from second base. RBI 13 for Ventura. 1-0 White Sox. And the tandem strikes again in the top of the third inning. Ventura will get a line drive off of the scoreboard in left field. Tim Raines who was going on the pitch scores from first base. And the White Sox lead over the Red Sox is now 2 to nothing. And in the bottom of the third inning, the lights will go out at Fenway Park, so the fans had to sit through a 59-minute blackout delay. But play did resume, and in the top of the fourth inning, Clemens' first pitch after the blackout goes back to the backstop over Ozzie Gein's head. Gein would get on base, and Scott Fletcher will move him over on a sacrifice bunt. Carlos Cantana fields it over to Steve Lyons. He is out, and Gian moves over to second base. Fletcher back to the dugout, but Steve Lyons held on to the ball for the old hidden ball trick. Gets Ozzy Gian as he was stepping off of a second base. As Steve Lyons employs the hidden ball trick to get Ozzy Gian out in the fourth, and Gian isn't too happy. The Red Sox will score three in the bottom of the seventh inning with a score two to one. Steve Lyons with a base hit to right field. Cantarina scores and Sammy Sosa's throw home bounces off of Carlton Fisk's face. That allows Tony Payne to score three to two Red Sox. Top of the eighth inning, Roger Clemens on a roll. He is indeed untouchable, retiring ten straight Chicago batters from the fifth through the eighth inning. Here getting Frank Thomas in the eighth. 
strikeout victim number six for Clements, but Joe Morgan decides to pull his ace after eight innings to go with his stopper. And with two outs and two strikes on pinch hitter Matt Marullo in the ninth, he connects for a solo homer off of Jeff Reardon into the bullpens in right field, his second homer of the year, and that tied the game up at three apiece and left Clemens with a no decision. And into extra innings we went, top of the 10th, Ron Karkovice with a base hit to left field. Joey Cora will come around to score as he slides ahead of Mike Greenwell's throw. That made it 4-3 to Chicago. Bobby Thigpen in the 10th fields. Tony Pena's tapper back to the mound, throws him out. The White Sox beat the Red Sox 4-3. to Thigpen the winner, he's 2-0. and Gray the loser, he drops to 1-2. and Tony La Russa and the Oakland A's are looking to salvage a two-game split with the New York Yankees as they finish up their extended weekend series. Pick up action here in the top of the first inning. Jose Canseco with a fly out to left field. Hensley Mullins with a nice diving catch as Mullins comes up with a nice play for the second out of the top half of the first inning. On the way back to the dugout, Canseco and a fan went at it as they exchanged words as Canseco points to the fan as he is ejected from this game. He is ejected for disorderly conduct and for sitting in the wrong seat. Moving on now to the top half of the third inning. Walt Weiss will get the A's on the board when he hits a single into center field. Lance Blankenship scores RBI number six for Weiss and the A's go on top by a score of one to nothing. In the bottom of the third inning, after a Kurt Young wild pitch ties the game up at one apiece, Roberto Kelly gives the Yankees the lead with a solo home run to right center field. This one going out over the 399 sign, out in right center field. Home run number five, RBI number 17, and the Yankees lead it 2-1. to one. In the bottom of the fourth inning, Randy Velarde with a double over the head of Jose Canseco in right field. Jesse Barfield and Hensley Mullins both score. RBI's number two and three for Velarde, and the Yankees go on top by a score of four to one. In the bottom of the sixth inning, the Yankees extend that lead to five to one. When Hensley Mullins comes up, Mullins will hit a solo home run to right field. Home run number two for this young Yankee rookie. RBI number nine, and the Yankees increase their lead once again to a score of five to one. Moving on now to the top of the seventh inning. The A's get one back when Harold Baines comes up and bloops a single into left field. Mark McGuire scores. RBI number 23 for Baines. And the Yankee lead is cut to 5-2. to two. But Then the bottom of the eighth inning with the Yankees up 5-3. to three. Jesse Barfield lifts a sacrifice fly into left field. Kevin Moss scores. RBI number 13 for Barfield. And the Yankee lead is at 6-3. to three. They win it by that score as Scott Sanderson gets to win his record 4-1. Kurt Young with the loss is record 1-1. One one. Lee Guterman, his first save of the season. The Toronto Blue Jays play host to the Kansas City Royals. Pick up action here in the top of the second inning. Todd Stottlemyre strikes out Kurt Stillwell looking to end the second inning. Stottlemyre went 8 and a third, allowing just two runs while striking out four batters. In the bottom of the third inning, Roberto Alomar hits a double into the gap in left center field. Devon White and Ray Ginelli both score. RBI is number 14 and 15 for Alomar. And the Blue Jays take a 2 to nothing lead. Then the bottom of the fourth inning, Manuel Lee comes up and hits a triple into the gap in right center field. This ball goes all the way to the wall as Greg Myers scores. RBI number 6 for Lee. And the Blue Jays go on top by a score of 3 to nothing. In the top of the fifth inning, the Royals get one back when Kurt Stillwell comes up and hits a single into left field. Warren Cromartie will score. And the Blue Jays' lead is cut to 3-1. to one. The Jays get their final run of the evening when Joe Carter comes up in the bottom of the fifth inning. And he belts out a solo home run to center field. Number five for Carter. As the Jays take a 4-1 to one lead, they go on to win this one by a score of 4-2. to two. Todd Stottlemyre gets the win. His record now 5-1. Storm Davis with the loss. His record drops to 2-4. And, and Dwayne Ward picks up his 12th save of the season.